Today's Mass is offered for Tony Perez. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You came to heal the contract of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are interceding, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with the measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits, and had me wade through the water which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more made me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me back to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters which make it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. And for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees and every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth shall be shaken, and the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose run runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst and shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, and behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool in Hebrew called in Hebrew Bethsaida with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water is stirred up, when I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. 
Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Did the man actually want to be well? That's a question we can wonder as we ponder and pray over today's gospel. And that is the very question that Jesus asks this man. Do you want to be well? Because this man was ill for 38 years. That's a long time. And he was presumably at this pool of healing water a lot of times, maybe even every single day for 38 years. We, we don't know for sure. But it sounds like he had been there for a while because he talked about how he had trouble to get down to the healing water. If he was there for 38 years, he was probably the only one still there waiting to be healed. You would think that after two or three days of sitting there waiting, you would figure out a strategy or figure out somebody to take you down to the water. But he didn't. And it makes us ask, why not? That's maybe why Jesus came up to him today and said, do you want to be well? Maybe the man wanted to be healed, but maybe part of him didn't want to be healed. It shows, obviously, that his needs were met. He was alive. He was probably well-nourished or at least nourished enough. There was maybe something within him that did not want to be healed. Maybe he liked his illness in such a way. Maybe, for some reason, it made his life more convenient. That is why maybe Jesus has this pointed question, do you want to be made well? And the guy never even really says yes. He just explains really the difficulty of trying to be healed. Jesus' response was to heal him right away without even uh, beginning the, or furthering the discussion at all because Jesus knew this was best for him. Maybe he was afraid of being healed. Maybe we're in the same boat. Are we afraid of being healed? Are we afraid of being healed of all of our fears and anxieties, especially in this present time? Are we afraid to bring them up, to voice them, to bring them to the light in order for the darkness or in order for them to be dispelled? Maybe we are. Another thing we should consider, are we willing to be healed of our sinful habits? Are we willing to bring them forth in the sacrament of confession for them to be healed? Or do we want to keep them within us? Jesus is moving us towards freedom. If we let him in, if we have the courage to bring these things up before others and the Lord, we will be healed and we will be able to walk in freedom just like this man did today. Let us offer our prayers and petitions to God, our loving Father. For the church, may God help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Lord grant them wisdom in protecting all in their care, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with chronic illness, may Christ the healer bring them physical and spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, that during this journey of Lent we may grow in charity and love through the graces of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead and all who have died in the faith of light, in the light of faith, may they receive a place at the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
Hear our prayer. Lord God, we offer all these prayers and petitions before you, and we ask all these things with confidence, for we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the vine and work of human hands have become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you, ha your, your, you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immor immortality through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect. 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. Be their servant, Francis, our Pope, Carl, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion and merciful Father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.